Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another WNO vlog. Today we're staying right here in Austin, Texas. We're going back to the B team, but this time we're checking in on Nikki Rod. If you don't know about Nikki Rod, then honestly, I don't know what you've been doing, but if you need a refresher, go back, watch his run at the 2019 ADCC, where he got a silver medal as a blue belt. There's also a great documentary on it called The Black Belt Slayer on Flow Grappling, so check that out. We're also going to talk to him a little bit about his opponent, Elder Cruz, and I'll bring you guys along for the ride. Let's see what this Mexican ground karate is all about. So today at the B team, we're going over some dominant positions. I'm a big fan of passing from body lock position, right? So today we're working a few different ways of acquiring the body lock, and later on as we go down the technique, we'll work on passing the body lock and staying on top and crushing our opponents. It starts facing me. If you get time to start diving in and acquiring long arm, short arm, head on the center line. Any questions? One, two, three. Guy right here has cost me a lot of money over the last couple of years. <laughs> Most fragile human being in history. I'm about to cost him a little bit more. Yeah, he's gonna probably gonna get hurt. <laughs> yeah, both his hands have been broken since he was a child. Had COVID more times than most scientists think is possible. <laughs> <laughs> you got all kinds of stuff going on. With you. How you feeling right now though going into this Pedro match? I feel good now. I honestly you're I did, lying to me. Yeah, well, he's probably got five injuries right now. I did feel rough the last couple, but every the whole America's been sick. But uh I feel good now. I finally feel good this way. This is an 80-20 drill. We start with the opponent standing for a body lock. Um, the guy that's attacking and splitting the guy down at about 80% effort. We're making all the right decisions that we would make in a match, just not trying to hurt our training partner. As a defensive guy, uh, your goal is to continue to stand up over and over. Maybe we go to a quad pop position, maybe reach back for a lag grip or, or a wizard. We're giving our offensive opponent uh, different defensive measures and different defensive movements. That way it's very, very realistic. And believe it or not, this 80-20 drill is a lot of times more, uh, requires more effort and tenacity than live training. Yeah, listen, for the new faces, uh, no jumping like a close guard, no flying triangles, no scissor takedowns. Uh, I'm not trying to get anybody hurt in here, but let's go hard today, okay? One, two, three. I feel good. It's always fun training here at B Team. Um, I got a lot of different variety of training partners. They have everyone from uh, people that love leg locks to you know, outstanding wrestlers. So we have a, a ton of great training partners here at B Team. And, uh, progress is the only way around here.
I know Elder Cruz is a really tough wrestler. Um, he likes to be on top. He likes to uh, move around a lot. And it just so happens we have a similar style. So I think it's going to be a, a fun battle on the feet. If he does pull guard, you know, I have a few different ways that I plan on passing guard. But Elder seems like the kind of guy that wants to be on top and wants to wrestle. So uh, I'm, I'm anticipating him going out there and trying to stand with me. And uh, you know, I think it's going to be a hard 15-minute battle. And I'm going to do my best to get him down to the mat, get the sub, and uh, go out there and get my hand raised. All right, that is a wrap here at B Team. Got to see a little bit of Nicky Rod training. Even saw a little bit of Craig Jones in there. Um, but all overall, just a great training session. Nicky Rod's looking good. Had a few scraps in there. He said he's feeling good, ready to go with, against Elder Cruz. But for the next WNO vlog, we will be flying to San Diego. We're gonna meet up with Ty Ruotolo. We're gonna ask him about his matchup with Levi Jones Leary and about potentially becoming the first double champ in who's number one history. So make sure and stay tuned. See you guys soon.